I'm Bulma, and joining me is my mouse taxidermist, Pip. Only the dead mice. <laughs> they shall rise again! <laughs> oh gosh. If you're wondering what the heck are we talking about, um... Bulma uh, strapped me down and made me watch the most horrible, confusing movie I've ever seen. Uh, most horrible is a stretch. A bit. A small There amount. are most definitely worse. Um, Dinner for Schmucks came out a couple years ago. I remember watching it when it came out, and I don't remember too much about it, but I was like, oh, you know, it has Paul Rudd in it, and um, Steve Carell. That's all I remember. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's funny. That's good. Let's let's watch it. I saw it was on HBO. It was weird. It was weird, guys. <laughs> oh my god. A little different than I remembered. I mean, I remembered at least that the, um, it starts off with a nice little opening. It's got the fool on the hill by the Beatles playing, and it's going through this little scene of, um, a little handmade, uh, landscape, like, little hill with a swing on it, you know, and it's the, it's the little mouse couple, and it's just different scenes like that of some D different, different, homemade yeah. little, you know, hobby, some little hobby of some, you know, it, it, it doesn't, it didn't seem weird, you know, my dad make, make, made a little tiny village he puts out in Christ, around Christmas time, you know, like, I, I understand, I'm like, yeah, that's cool, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure if I remember. These are dead mice. Yeah, the guy uses dead mice for it. <laughs> and then it just started to kind of spiral into a weirder movie. No, the whole movie is so strange. Steve Carell plays this... I don't even... A very strange person. I mean, he means well. No, screw the meaning well, okay? It's like a rom-com buddy flick. It's weird. It was weird. Yeah. Come on, Pip. Pull it together. <laughs> it starts to click here in a minute. <laughs> this is the one with the little face lock in mm -hmm, thing. Yeah. Ugh. See, I'm kind of glad that um, that Pip started to take over. I was like, this already was starting to get really bullshitty for me. It started with the, uh, the little magic books and having to jump on those and... <laughs> and make my way across. Oh, you're, you're not even ready for some of the bullshit this game has to offer. Yeah, and I'm just like, wow, this is intense. Like, this would have taken so much longer to record if it was me playing, so it's kind of nice to get more streamlined. But, um... No, Steve Carell plays this very extremely strange, eccentric person. Yeah. Like, you know, in real, and like every other thing that he does. <laughs> and... <laughs> And, uh, so he, creepy. And he befriends Paul Rudd, who's at, trying to get a promotion at work by, uh, His what's that movie called? What movie? Dangerous Liaisons or something like that. Hmm. Where rich people bring, rich people playing rich people games that mess with poor people at the heart of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I've seen that Come like on, in guys, an episode there... of Sunny. Yeah, in exa Philadelphia. exactly. Uh, I forget the exact movie that that's all based on. But uh, it's very much like that. You know, so they're going to try to bring these people to the dinner party that they can make fun of. Yeah, they call it Dinner for Winners, but it's really them, you know, picking out yeah, the most make, weird fun of idiot that they can. Yeah. And they give him a little trophy at the end. And, and Paul Rudd's not a really bad guy, <laughs> and then some misunderstandings with his girlfriend, and I don't know, dude. The movie's funny, but oh man, there's just some scenes that drag on for so long, and I'm sitting there oh, with yeah. my mouth hanging open going, is this real? <laughs> I don't... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It was a strange movie. If you're, if you have some time to kill, it's on HBO. Yeah. Yeah, it's on HBO Go. That's where we watched it at. So go forth and get your strange on. 
Okay, be warned, it has a lot of the, uh, the usual tropes, um, you know. Yo, guys, it's a rom-com. It's a rom-com, yeah. okay? Uh, you know. With, with, with Paul Rudd, so I mean, Paul Rudd's always pleasant. Yeah, he... He it, elevates it, the movie. It, you know, and it has Zach Galifianakis in it, and yeah, no, it, was... had, it had a good cast, and it was pretty funny. There were parts that definitely got some, like, some out loud laughs out of me. It was pretty funny. We've been watching the IT crowd. I think we've mentioned it before in an episode. You know, we've been watching the IT crowd on Netflix, kind of just binging that back Love and forth. It. And it was kind of funny. The, the actor who plays Roy in it was also in the movie. Yeah, it was like a blind fencer. <laughs> yeah, he was, it was funny. He tried to... No, 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 no. <laughs> We won't go all spoilers on no, you, because, because his parts were unusually um, funny. Now we're going to tease him. Absolutely. <laughs> so so if you guys are, um, oh. come on. Well, damn, you play Grat. <laughs> I so, hate you know, those if, little rats. So if we have inspired you guys to maybe go and watch the movie, if we have tantalized you guys enough to go and see the movie, that's a good thing. Yeah. Just be warned, it's a weird one. It's a I weird mean, one. Don't was, watch it with your grandma. It was so funny, like, I, I, my mouth is hanging open and I look over at Pip and he's got pretty much the same expression, just like, kind of sometimes he'd be horrified, just like, mouth agape. Like, I don't know what? if you guys have ever seen, uh, we've talked about it on the channel before, uh, the, the cinema snob. Every time I watch one of his videos, I find myself staring with my mouth hanging open, just feeling like my soul has been sucked out just a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes in a good way. And, uh... <laughs> that's how this entire movie made me feel. Yeah. <laughs> what, like, it, it drained me of my life essence. <laughs> uh, it was not what I was expecting. <laughs> but take that for what it's worth, guys. I still recommend it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, uh, so, we've been sick. I'm still... I'm even more garbage today than yesterday. I mean, we've got the lights off in the room because yeah. the light hurts my eyes and... I'm almost sitting here wearing shades in a dark room right now at night. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, it's, the computer is hurting my eyes right now. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. But, ah, uh, pulling it together for them daily uploads. Yeah, man, it's all about it. Sorry if I also sound like garbage. <laughs> what? Um. You stop it, Balma. I know. Just I'm relax. so self-conscious. Yeah, I know you are. I'm just, sick. just, just relax. No one's holding it against you. We all feel bad from time to time. Oh, look at that slap shot. That Damn. bird looks really familiar. I kept noticing that when I was watching you play. I was like, I feel like I've seen it in something. That bird man <laughs> looks familiar. <laughs> what did we watch? Oh man, we watched. Uh, it wasn't terribly long ago. It, it was an older thing. It was um. Homie from the room. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, nah, Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> oh, what a weird, what a weird, strange man. Oh yeah, yeah, one of a kind. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Balma, I thought you said you edited this. I... You're not supposed to leave in my shame. <laughs> You're supposed to make me look good. I thought it was good compared to editing my videos. Uh. I was just like, oh man. I hate the like I said, I I didn't even play this and I hate those rats. I'm like, wow, you little jerks. Well, the, <laughs> this was me still learning how to do it. But either way, before I get totally sidetracked. Uh Tommy was so Tommy was so there was this thing where like he was on Space Ghost Coast to Coast when they were running the room on uh, Adult Swim. It was a while ago, but I saw a clip of it on uh <laughs> Or the clip of it, rather, on a uh, on YouTube. Of... It's hilarious. It's basically just Tommy Rousseau sitting there with Space Ghost Coast to Coast, right? Hey, <laughs> you know, you know some, some people remember. 
Uh, and they're and, and, and you know Space Ghost and Zorak and Maltar are all just sitting there riffing on Tommy Wiseau and like, uh, wow, lame. Uh -huh. But Tommy Wiseau is just totally not in on the joke. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not sure. That is a strange man. I know, uh, like, there was... Uh, was it the Nostalgia Critic interview with him, yes, I think? Yes, Nostalgia yeah. Critic got an interview with him. It was uh, strange in that, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doug Walker kept kind of making little joke questions about, like, Oh, so, you know, where, were you, what, where in the U.S. were you born? France? Or, you know, just name it up in different countries. France, Germany, or Romania, something yeah. like that. And he was like, oh, ha, ha. oh, ha, ha, you're such a funny guy, dog. But, like, in the way he talks, about it, he's like, no, like, I'm proud American. And, oh, born and raised. You know, the way he talks about it, it just sounds like he's, it's way too much yeah. trying to convince us. Yeah, yeah, Balma, you're just racist. No. You're saying you're just saying that anyone who doesn't sound like you no. can't be born here. No, I'm not mean like his accent or anything, but just like the way he is like always like, oh yeah, proud of America. Like, I, I don't think anyone. I don't think you'll hear anyone argue that Tommy Russo isn't a strange, strange, strange man. Oh yeah, what did we? I watched. Um, it was apparently that. Uh, him like trying to audition or he was just doing oh, no, bits of just, him as the Joker. Yeah, I think he was just doing clips of him as the Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh my Yeah, it was funny. God. That was so creepy. Yeah, it was funny. It was like, what? What the hell am I watching, Vol? Uh. Vol <laughs> well, always comes out with the really weird stuff and shows me. Oh yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I cruise the dark side of YouTube. <laughs> It's true. Y'all get the the watered down stuff that, that we deem appropriate. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um you know we've we've been sick and a good way to pass the time has been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh no, well uh, <laughs> that sounded like you're trying to sell it. No -uh. Like like if if we had a, if we had a paid advertisement, that's how I would start it off. Have you been sick lately? No. Well, let me tell you a great way to pass the time. I mean, that sounds like a bad way to be like, oh, hey, I've been sick, so I'm like, <laughs> I haven't played this game. <laughs> yeah, right, true that. Yeah. But, I mean, um, it's something, usually I don't have time to play, like, I just don't feel like playing games on my phone and stuff, but I've I've been feeling like garbage and. Well, real games quick, are be because I had a lot of uh, card games and stuff that I played on. Steam, when I was going through a, a low point and had no money to buy any other games, I was playing a bunch of free-to-play card games like uh, Shadowverse, Shadowverse to name a good one, Elder Scrolls to name one, <laughs> um, but it, it popped up this Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links game, and since we've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh!, I saw it and I was like, ah, I'm gonna pass, I don't, <laughs> I'm so burnt out on all these free-to-play card games. And Valma was like, well, I'll check it out. And uh, she right. played it for a couple days and came back and was like, Pip, this is actually pretty fun. <laughs> you should check it out. And I checked it out, and I've been playing a lot, and she's been playing a lot. And uh, fun. I... let me also take this opportunity to mention that, no, this is not a paid advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have no paid advertisers here on the Daily Brief. Mm. Who keeps it real? Steel. Well, even if we did have paid advertisers, you'd get you guys would still get the real deal, <laughs> because that's what y'all came here for, among other things. We came here for Valma and let's plays and fun times, but also no bullshit. No bullshit. No bull. <laughs> I want to start doing that. Start stealing your jokes, little Karibo. No. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> The game's pretty fun though, and um, yeah, I I added Pip on there now. When uh, after I uh, do a duel, it shows on my little meter. It says Pip is running alongside you. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look. <laughs> yeah, I passed her. But I passed you too. But you'll probably pass me again because <laughs> that's how it works. 
That's how it works. <laughs> but I was actively like trying to do my duels <laughs> faster. I was watching your screen to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty good stuff though. Uh, it's very much like, all right, I can't really attest to the actual game because I don't, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh like that. I'm more of a I, magic person. That's previously I mentioned. I played Yu-Gi-Oh a bit, and like I've been saying, I've been wanting to play some Yu-Gi-Oh, so I was like, yeah, I'll play, I'll download this. <laughs> but this very much feels like the show Yu-Gi-Oh translated to a card game versus like the actual Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Yeah. And I kind of like it. Some of the cards are really redundant, <laughs> and you know, obviously just there to fill space. But uh, you know, you can totally like uh, build people's signature quote unquote air quotes here, guys. Mm -hmm. Signature decks from the shows and stuff. Now you can't cheat like they did in the shows, okay. so you know it might not work out as well for you. But it's pretty fun. Passes the time. Yeah, one thing I I don't really like, I mean, I guess it makes the duels go by faster, but I don't like how there's only three spaces on your your duel mat, you know, three spaces for monsters and three spaces for spells and traps. Usually it's five, yeah. and I kind of dislike that because, you know, I'm trying to pull some moves and then I'm like, I don't have enough spaces, damn it, but I get it, it makes the duels faster and probably be I don't know, Man, I'm I walking guess. past so many secret areas. <clears throat> I did too. It's okay. Yeah, but I always called you out on it. <laughs> I've got to call myself out on it too. Pip, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you goon? Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty fun. It's free. It's free. Speaking of. Not free. Spyro's coming out. Well, September. Yeah, September. It's a while, while away, guys. But we saw the trailer <laughs> yesterday. Don't get too hyped. <laughs> trailer was bombing in a good way. Oh um, yeah, no, it showed the side by side of like, you know, the very first game, and then switching into the graphics that it's gonna look like now. Yeah, that was what? really cool. Oh, it looks so good! Oh, I can't wait for some Spyro! Yeah, I'm excited. I we were talking about, like, oh, you know, just, you know, hope they don't mess it up, because we saw it was going to be, like, a complete remake that we are going to redo the, the graphics and everything, so... I was kind of worried just because there's a lot of stuff in the original Spyro where you could, like, fly to any point in the map, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I hope they keep that all in mind when they the remake, you know? Mm -hmm. There's some funky stuff you could do in the original. I'm sure they will, as long as it's not like something, you know, game breaking. I don't know if there's anything like that in I'm the game, not, you know. I'm sure there are, but I don't know. I, I'm excited. I'm super excited after watching the little uh, teaser demo for what it's gonna look like. Yeah. Ooh, looks good. Mm. Looks strong. Yeah. Oh man, have we finally made it? Oh. Boss time! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was listening to some of the some sound some of the soundtrack from the Shovel Knight game because it's just so good and it was stuck in my head and I was like, ah! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, that was. That's so good. I think that was a Pokemon fight song. Oh uh, no, I was just thinking of um, just one of the songs I have stuck in my head, in my head right now. Yeah. And that made me think. <laughs> it's got Rex me the first time here. Spoilers. Ah no. Yeah. No spoilers. I was being dumb. I was trying to like approach it like the way that I did with the Spectre Knight, where I try and find out his attack pattern and then whack him. Yeah. You know, methodically. Uh -huh. This is not the fight. Uh, what's your? Well, I guess we'll see what your uh, your strat is. Yeah, yeah. This is the original strat, and I realized it was not working. <laughs> so uh, you can also there's a little other story mode where you can play as the Plague Knight or the Spectre Knight. And I believe yeah, in, in that from the one, last video. In this one, you. Uh, 
you throw the little bombs, you don't get a shovel or any other weapon. Man, right? I want to be, I, I don't know. I, I want to be the I, Spectre Knight. He looks yeah, awesome. I think, I think you can, because you can make it whatever. Yeah, I know. The Sheehy is awesome. I want a big floating the blade. The Shamali? The Shamali. <laughs> oh, Bulma. <laughs> yes. I love it. Yay. It's a Shamali. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that's me. Ah, yeah. We were, we were re watching some old Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's been a while. I Some old Rick and Morty quotes. Oh, uh, in quotes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, from, from like a whole three or four years ago. Yeah, right? Remember? Gosh, it's so long ago, guys. I actually don't remember when the first Rick and Morty came out. I feel like what it was What was it, like, 2015? I think... Really? I think... Because I remember uh, moving yeah. back to Florida in 2015, and you were telling me about it. And I think season... Season two, I've just been maybe I don't know. I don't know. We can Google all this, guys. The power of the internet. We're sitting here just <laughs> without. We are cavemen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we were watching. We were watching a uh, favorite podcasty thing of ours, and uh, what what did the, what did the guy say? Mm -hmm. He's like two two people enter. Yeah. Two two people with phones enter, one leaves to be mocked. Yeah. Something like that. It was <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! That was the tactic. You just jump on him. Like you're Mario. <laughs> okay. Um. Which by the way, by the way, just to just to note, I was playing this and it made me kinda wanna play Hollow Knight again. Yeah. So I started I saw playing you were Hollow playing. Knight. And in Hollow Knight you have to press the button every time you want to swing downwards. You don't just kind of pogo off people, mm. but you can do the pogo. Uh, so I got really complacent just being able to hold down and, <laughs> and just jump on people. Well. And when I played Hollow Knight, it wrecked me so badly that I quit within about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, the downside of juggling a bunch of games. Uh. I double checked though, but Rick and Morty season one came out in 2014. Yeah, yeah, so long ago. So old. So old. <laughs> they were rewatching it. It's funny. Yeah. Always good for a chuckle. Season three still really held up for me. We have, I've, yep, like Dam I've Ha. I've argued with Dam Ha. Dam Ha thinks that season three is not as good. I've argued since the release of season three that it was just as good as seasons one or two, yeah. which I think were equally as good as the other. Yeah, it, it's all good to me. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm not like, uh... I don't watch it. I don't go... I've watched some shows where you go, oh, this season. Yeah. I don't get Yu -Gi -Oh. that. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. I think just, there are so many shows that that applies to. I don't get that out uh, of... Uh, <laughs> Rick and Morty. I'm just like, oh, more Rick and Morty. I, I, a lot of people I saw to you know didn't like the, if the the president one was the last episode. I of love the president right? episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm part of. God, uh, you said you wouldn't need pants because you like to wave your dick around. Yo, oh my God, dude, it was so good. Uh, I'm in a uh, Rick and Morty swift posting group on Facebook and so I get to see a lot of other people's opinions on the show and stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of hate for, for the final episode and I, I really like it. You know, the, the whole Beth clone thing and... The only thing that upset me about it at all was hearing people go, man, what a, what a, uh, what a good representation of Obama. And I'm going, uh, uh you guys realize they were totally making fun of the current president, right? Yeah. It's just look at it. Yeah. And and they did it without changing the president. Cuz yeah, the president was super cool and uh, Yeah, no, every, and... every time you see the president, every time he pops up, he's awesome. And then I love and then this man. Yeah, and then the next and then this last season, he's a total raging dick, <laughs> like yeah. insecure about everything and 
Uh, you know, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> come on. But, but that, yeah, yeah, I saw I saw what they did there, and I even commented about that to damn hard. He was like, oh, you know, I, I see, I like that, I like that. Uh, that it seemed very apparent to me, but maybe I'm... <laughs> you I'm have minority. to have a high IQ to... Yeah, yeah, guys, you morning. just have to have a high IQ to oh. understand that, you know? <laughs> Not our opinion. No, very facetious. Uh, yeah. Funny. <laughs> Your pickle rig. I even like the pickle rig episode. It's just I, hilarious. I know. <laughs> the therapist. Yeah. So, Do you uh, know anyone who eats poop and would like to stop? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my car. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did you turn yourself into a pickle? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nights for life. Oh yeah. There's just a gonna make you go night night. Nah, here's just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Between betwixt allies. Ah. Uh. Betwixt. Always do wells. Uh, always. Do wells. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of ne'er do wells. Uh, huh? Uh, huh? Uh. Do I get a cheap? Do I get a cheap laugh out of that? I hope somebody at home g gave me at least a little like. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll get one next time here on Daily Upload with Daily Uploads on the Daily Brief. See ya. Is that a freaking fade to black?